Hey, we're on to a winner here.
have you all taken sleeping pills out there? Very quiet tonight. Just one minute, Douglas. Douglas, back to your question. Um, Jason and I tried journalist leads for about six, nine months and then just gradually, we didn't exactly fall out with them, but we didn't, we didn't see the real advantage, any real advantage in them. It's not that they're necessarily inferior. Um, we just didn't see enough of an advantage over what I've uh, basically just outlined to you. Um, and we just fell into, we just abandoned them without any, almost without any conscious decision, to be honest. There's plenty of people use them, and I mean, you know, strong tens, for example, are a, you know, um, an integral part of journalist leads. The fact is, at the end of the day, you can. JC, it just depends in, entirely on your agreements. I wouldn't play the lead of the king asking for an unblock. Um, I play the king. The lead of the king is asking for an attitude signal. And the lead of the ace is asking for a count signal. Because I've got a choice when I've got ace-king... But unless you're playing Roman leads, I don't have a choice when I've got king-queen. And normally if I lead the king from king-queen, I'm looking for an attitude signal. I want to know whether partner has the ace or the jack. Um, so that if, especially against no trumps, so that if uh, declarer holds up, I know whether they're sat there with ace-jack-x or not. Um... But uh, if you have different methods and they work for you, then uh, I'm not going to tell you that anything is necessarily um, better. If you, if you want to stick with um, the lead of the king asking for count, uh, then that's fine. You know, if it works for you, I, I'm not here to tell you that your methods are... Um, are not right. I'm essentially just saying what works for me. I've never seen 
given that you lead the king from king queen, I've never seen the point in the king from ace king asking for count. It just doesn't seem logical to me. Because how is partner to tell the difference? Okay. Moving on. Any more questions or comments or abuse or anything else? I think, Sanya, as long as you, you explain your basic carding methods, you don't have to, to give uh, ops absolute chapter and verse. Um, you know, if I'm, if I'm I, I don't explain everything about, uh, you know, whether I play ace king for count. Nobody goes into those much details when they're explaining their carding. I just tell people I use strong tens, fourth highest. Um, I might explain mud against suits and top of nothing against no trumps but even that people don't expect the main thing they want to know is whether you're playing UDCA or standard signals or odd even or McKinney you know they want to know what your signals and discards are they're not particularly bothered about um, what honour leads you're using if you're playing something slightly out of the ordinary like Roman leads or journalist needs you can mention that um, instead of just saying strong tens but but nobody goes into that much detail I just have it in a button I, it takes me approximately one second to explain what my basic system is what my no trump, trump strength is and what our carding methods are um, ok it might take you 20 seconds to type it each time but it uh, shouldn't take that long I think something got cut out there just bear with me a second yeah Now that's very strange. I've just, <laughs> I've just said some text that said the next thorny question is whether to show attitude or count at any particular stage. And I just got a message from BO, BBO asking me not to use abusive chat. That's interesting. Has anybody else ever got that? Weird. Okay. But the word was thorny. T-H-O-R-N-Y. That's weird. Okay. I can't be responsible for their knowledge of English. Yeah, it sounds that way, Barry, if it was horny, that it was... But horny's not abusive, anyway.
One second. There was an absolutely classic case of that in the European Pairs Championships today. I can't remember who it was who was playing, um, but uh, they were playing in something like um, five... Ops were playing in something like five hearts. And uh, somebody cashed the ace of spades and then led back the five when they held the ace of hearts and their spades were something like ace ten seven five six five or something um, and partner not unnaturally took that as a um, a request for a diamond return and duly led back the ten of diamonds into declare as ace with the end result that I don't it might have been I don't think so uh, Barry I can't remember but uh, anyway he, he didn't need it's easy to lead back the ten of spades to ask for a heart and he didn't do it and uh, it the, the contract still I think went one off um, but it should have been two off and at pairs that makes a big difference you know it's only only 50 50 points um, but that might be the difference between an average and a top. Um, so don't try and be subtle with signals, especially when, you know, if you've got jack to five and partner leads the king, and you know you can tell that you've got a ten card fit and there's a singleton in dummy, if you want, you know, a higher ranking suit, play the jack, because clearly... Um, at most, declarer has something like ace x, and uh, um, there's no way that you chucking your jack underneath the king is going to cost your side a trick when you've got a probable ten card fit. Um, so don't don't try and be subtle. Um, there are times when you have to give. A signal because you don't have enough cards or they're all sort of six seven eight um, but do what you can uh, don't expect partner to pick up really subtle signals because they won't always be able to do it Actually, Barry, now that you mention it, I think you might be right there. Um, I think it might well have been the winners. That rings a bell.
I was watching it at the time and I couldn't couldn't believe it when he led back something like the, the five or the six for the rough. Um, I thought they must be playing sort of upside down suit preference signals, which some people do, but clearly partner um, wasn't on the same wavelength. Okay, if there's no more questions or comments, we'll move on. sit in the lounge. Can I sit on you? Can they hear me? Yes. Hello guys! Nobody speaks to me. Not yet. Nobody speaks to me tonight. Ah, oh, Roger's just said hi. Hi, now. Roger! <laughs> Hello there. And Shirl has just piped up. Yeah. Oh. Guys, sorry, you're just going to have to give me two minutes. I'll be back shortly. Talk amongst yourselves.
Sorry about that, domestic emergency. Ah, where was I? Oh, it's like teaching a morgue tonight. Shouldn't be th it shouldn't be this quiet, not with Sonia here. Laventhal and McKinney are, are fine. I, you know, if you if you're playing in an ACBL competition and you can't use odd even signals um, for discards, Laventhal and McKinney are, are, are fine. Um, even standard count. I don't much like UDCA. I have to say, I find that um, really awkward. Not so much from the point of view of giving count. Um, but it's it's really hard if I want to discourage and ask for a lower ranking suit, for example. Um, I, I find UDCA just doesn't make sense to me. I know a lot of people use it. Um, I've never seen much point in it myself. And I've seen people come unstuck with it countless times. Um, I think most people who use UDCA just think it confuses ops um, and uh, that's why they use it. Um, that's my impression anyway.
if you yes that's right um duffer if you if you've got say three five seven eight then um if you want to encourage a continuation for example then play the seven and if you don't play the eight and either way you're you're showing an even number um but one is encouraging and one is discouraging Yeah, you know, if you're going to play sometimes not in ACBL competitions and sometimes in ACBL competitions, then clearly uh, you have to have. I think that's right, Duffer. Um, but that's you know, and I mean a lot of people, even if they have a choice, will only use odd even for the first discard. The the critical thing really is signals rather than discards um, you know it's only really the first discard that's absolutely crucial because after that um, if you're onto your fourth or fifth discard you may not have a choice as to what to play so it's the first discard that's critical but in terms of signaling um, rather than discards um, uh, o, o stash E signals uh, are great, but obviously you can't use them in an ECBL competition, but you can almost any other time. I do. I use odd slash even throughout. I All of my signals and discards are, um, but it is primarily the first discard. I will always try and give the primary signal that I want to convey in my first discard. Sometimes you have to do it as a combination of two. Um, you might need to discourage in two suits in order to effectively encourage in the third. Um, if you don't have a card where you can encourage in that third suit, or you've only got even cards. Um, so you may need to you may need to do it twice but usually you can um, you can make it clear certainly over two discards and normally you can make it clear with your first it's not often that I find that I'm stuck for a, a signal with odd even and don't forget what I said earlier also, um, if you are stuck, then ask for an unlikely switch or an unlikely suit um, where it's, it's almost inconceivable that you actually want that suit. And then partner will have to work out that actually you are stuck and that it's one of the other two suits. And normally the context and the bidding will make it fairly clear. Okay, I'm just going to repeat the last thing I said because we've asked a few questions since. Both dogs have got out the garden again. Oh my god. Out, out the back, out the back. There's obviously a hole in the back somewhere. Tomorrow in the daylight. Right, I'll check.
Um, Sanya, I don't use it. Um, uh, but, but carding is not a part of OCP. This is, you know, what I'm explaining tonight is my personal preference. I don't use Smith uh, or Reverse Smith. Um, some people do. I have no idea what other people who use OCP do. Carding really is, you know, a matter of partnership agreement. Um, you know, it's nothing to do with the bidding system. Um, okay. The other thing here, of course, is in terms of giving accurate count signals, um, you're perfectly entitled to lie through your teeth if you think that the partner cannot gain from the information and uh, you might have a chance to mislead declarer. Um, so if, if it looks like partner's got nothing uh, or can't possibly play much of a further part in, in the play, uh, then feel free to try and mislead declarer about your distribution. Um, but when partner can benefit more than declarer can, then you need to uh, you need to signal accurately. Like that case where, where a partner's got three small cards, there's a long suit in dummy to ace, queen, jack, and you've got king x, and dummy has no outside entries. Um, you know, here, you need to, partner needs to, to play low from three small and high low from two small and now you know whether to hold up your king and hope that declarer repeats the finesse or not if you can't rely on your partner giving accurate count signals in that kind of a situation then you're in the dark
Yeah, it's more of a, it's more of a, um, an issue to be honest when you've got something like Jack X and partner leads the ace. I think you have to to try and judge from the bidding and what else you can see um, whether to play your jack uh, to give accurate count or if you think that actually the jack's going to be a useful card you may not want to chuck it under your partner's ace um, difficult to be sure always um, you know, if if this is a side suit and there's say three three of that suit in dummy, I would tend to play the jack um, because I I hope partner is not going to be leading the ace from ace to five small or ace ten nine to five. Um, and especially not from ace ten x x x uh, you know leading unsupported aces out of the blue unless it's a suit that you and partner have bid is generally not a good idea um, so again you you just have to decide whether you think it's going to be useful to give partner the count signal or not uh, and I mean if they play the king and you play the jack then it's hopefully going to be fairly clear as to what the position is uh, after trick two even if you didn't Peter with the jack and certainly if the queen is in dummy uh, I would tend to play the jack because again, Declare has got the same information. Um, they will know almost for sure that your partner's leading from Ace King. Uh, if it's a suit that you and partner haven't bid, and so they're going to play your partner for the for the other top honor. Um, so there's no real danger in chucking your jack underneath the ace to give partner accurate count so 10 small is easier duffer it's it's jack x and queen x that normally give you a bit more of a a problem i would tend not to uh, to chuck the queen unless I was sure that there was probably a rough available um, but it does depend on the bidding and what's in dummy there's no hard and fast rules
I mean, I mentioned this this board this afternoon that was in the European Pairs Championship, um, and uh, I was aghast when when this player led back the five or six for the rough when they had the ten, and it was crucial to get the extra trick uh, that partner returned the heart. Leading the ten back didn't cost anything. Um, it's it's absolutely crucial you get this kind of thing right because it really does make a difference to numbers of tricks that you can end up taking. Anybody got any questions on giving suit preference signals? And again, what method you have isn't necessarily what, what method you use isn't necessarily the important thing it's having a method and actually using it effectively and if you find that, that your chosen methods don't allow you to, to tell partner what you need to know then you need to look at changing your methods um, you know if you've tried for example odd slash even and find it doesn't work for you, uh, you just can't get your head around it, for example, then, then use something else. Don't stick with something that doesn't work for you. As long as you and partner are on the same wavelength and can communicate effectively through, through your play of the cards, that's all that matters. It's not a matter of one method necessarily being streets ahead of everything else. Um, you know, there are lots of carding methods that I've never tried that may work better than my chosen one, which is odd-even. But the fact is, odd-even works for me. I can instinctively do the right thing um, in tempo. Um, so that works for me. It may not work for you. Um, so find something that does work for you, but stick to it and make sure that you and partner are on the same wavelength. That's the key. And and look for the signals that partner's giving you. Whether it's count, whether it's attitude, whether it's suit preference. Always be looking for signals and always be trying to give partner the signals. And if you do that and stick to it, it doesn't matter what, you, what methods you're using. Um, you will usually be able to get the, mes mes methods that, the message across. And above all, like I said a couple of times, don't try and be subtle. If you, if you can hit partner over the head with a signal, then do that. Anybody got any questions on anything I've covered tonight? Yeah, I mean, counting, counting the hand is a, a slightly different topic. I, I certainly don't have time to cover that tonight. And it's not, counting the hand isn't really something that, that anybody can teach you. But that's the single ingredient that will, uh, religiously counting, as Um, yeah, I mean, Jason and I played attitude leads for a while. Um, in other words, the lower the lead, the more you like the suit. Um, we played third and fifth for a while. We tried a few things. Um, in fact, I think we always ended up, Jason and I, playing third and fifth. And that worked fine. I tend to use fourth now because it's what most people assume. Um, and it's something else that... that I don't have to get partner to think about, um, but they're both fine. Uh, I don't know much else I can say, really. You know, as long as as long as partner knows you're playing fourth best, fourth best is fine. Um, if you want to play third and fifth, that's fine as well. As long as partner's on the same wavelength, there's no point you playing third and fifth leads or attitude leads 
if partner thinks you're playing fourth best? Restless leg syndrome. Okay, anybody else got any questions before we start practicing some hands? Because I've got a few. Right, can I have four victims, please? I choose Esther and Roger. Is there the only ones I know? Well, there's about 20 odd people here, so you may not get who you want. Come on, guys, time is money. Uh, be careful what you wish for, Cheryl. <laughs> if you've not looked at... Um, Ellie, if you think that, that's fine. Um, the idea is to give information to partner on the basis that actually there's not a huge amount that declarer can do about it. My own experience is that most most declarers, even if you've announced that you play strong tens, don't pay any attention to it themselves. Um, can I please have four people to sit and practice some hands? Please. No, anybody can sit. This, this isn't a, this isn't about people. This isn't about you know people who are experts in OCP or anything. Come on, one more. Well, you're getting Eliana. Thank you very much, guys. So, please try and think about signals and leads and counting the hand. I can't guarantee that the, the plan for each hand is actually going to come up because it does depend on how it's bid, what contract you end up. Well, maybe just, just take time to discuss with Ellie which you want to try, whether you want to apply, try uh, strong tens or coded nines and tens, and what signaling method you want to try and use. Like I said, it doesn't particularly matter what you play as long as you and partner are on the same wavelength. Yes. Um. um. A north-south playing precision here. Hang on a second, guys. Sonia. 
is from Serbia. Barry Fortune from the United States. Or because they're nicknames. That's Esther from Hungary. That's Eliana from Canada. Sanya. <laughs> She's asking about you, Sanya. I'm watching you play. The rest are open. I never thought otherwise, Ellie. She says Eliana is her real name. She likes your name. Well, you know what I said about uh, not being able to predict where end hands are going to end up. This is one such.
with me? Do you, okay, Sanya, do you really think that a diamond lead is necessarily going to help you in this contract? Partners bid clubs. You actually want, well, okay, that's, sorry, that's after your double. Um, why, do, why do you think the diamond lead is necessarily going to help you? You've only got ace, nine, eight, seven. Um, so I think you, you are seriously in danger of giving partner the idea that you've got a different kind of hand than what you have. You're lucky that he's not started leaping about in diamonds if he actually had a diamond fit. I agree. Uh, the club bid came later. But the fact is, if you, if you had King, Queen, Jack, XX, yes, then you know, the double over one diamond is is maybe a good idea. But lead direction, just because you've got the ace of diamonds, um, I can't see the point. Why give Declarer that information? Yeah, but Sonia, why give Declarer that information? Well, then you've not been paying attention to my lessons on defending against precision. You know, if, if it goes one club, one diamond, one no trump, pass from Ellie, and now two diamonds, two hearts, pass, pass, and you're sat there with a heart shortage, you know, perhaps a doubleton heart, and you want to 
show some values, now double to encourage partner to bid something. But, you know, the, the plan for this hand actually was that it would go one club, one diamond, one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, two no trumps, three no trumps. No, you don't want partner to need a diamond, really. You haven't got a... Do you see what I'm getting at? Um, you know, what you, you potentially end up doing is giving declarer the information and half the time partner won't be able to make much use of it and if you do persuade them to lead a diamond it's not necessarily going to help your side at all the whole idea of this hand was actually for north south to arrive in three no trumps and for east having stayed silent to lead the ten of clubs and for you to rise with the queen and now when you're in with the ace of diamonds you can fire a club through okay it certainly is a long shot <laughs> okay anybody else got any questions about this Okay, next one. Oh, one other thing. Ellie, if you're going to bid, I would bid three clubs over one club. At least try and make it difficult for ops. Passing over one club, letting Esther get her one no trump bid in, and now bidding two clubs and then three clubs might feel safer to you, but in the meantime, you've allowed north south to exchange a fair amount of information if you bid three clubs over one club half the time north south are, are floundering around in the dark and won't necessarily know where to play you've made it much more difficult for them no that, that was directed at ellie well either stay silent or if you're going to compete make it count so you know I might think about bidding three clubs over one club immediately as a you know I've only got a seven count with the east hand I have got a reasonable six card club suit um, and at least I'm I'm obstructing north south if it really is their hand um, if it turns out that south's got nothing and partner's got something then at least I've shown what kind of uh, hand I have, I weep with long clubs. Yeah, but if you're going to interfere against precision, make it count. That's, you know, if you if you had a a 15 count, then by all means, you know, go slow. But when you've got a seven count and a you know a weakish six card suit, just consume some of Op's bidding space. That's what that's what hinders uh, precision more than anything else. You know, pussyfooting around, passing over one club, then coming in with two clubs over one or trump. You're not you're not inconveniencing north south at all you're still actually allowing them to to exchange a fair amount of information whereas if you bid three clubs immediately over one club um, South playing OCP is probably going to pass might bid three hearts but now North isn't sure whether South is just competing or whether it's a game forcing positive which is what it would be um, Yeah, maybe you should double three clubs to show, you know, a maximum pass. You've already shown the five-card hearts, and now partner might bid three no trumps. And then it's down to whether East-West actually have the methods to defeat it.
Okay, next one. Ellie, it's you to bed. So many no trump, so it's penalties if you're playing Brozel or modified Brozel.
Guys, something's gone wrong with my BBO. Do you mind if I... Alright. I'm, I'm missing half of what's going on here. I'm just going to send this hand again. Can we just start just start the bidding again? Um, the undo mucked up my sequence and because we had so many bids uh, it was mucking up the display of what was being played. Well even beyond mucking up the bidding box. You don't necessarily have to do the same bidding sequence, just uh, if it just goes pass, pass, one no trump, and three no trumps from north, at least then we can, I can see what's being played. Sorry, can you not hear what I'm saying, Ellie? Sanya, rather. The, un the undo mucked up the bidding box, and then, because there were so many bids, it mucked up the display of the hand. I wasn't able to see what was being played. Just open one no trump, as you did, and if Esther just bids three no trumps, you can remember how the sequence went the first time but at least now I'll be able to see what cards are being played. Okay, that's fine. So now we can lead the ten of clubs. Okay, a couple of things on the bidding first. Uh, as it was originally, pass, pass, one no trump, that's fine. Double penalties, 
because we don't play, even if you play Brozel normally, that goes out the window against a mini no trump. Double has to be penalties. East should be bidding two clubs immediately over the double. Um, you can't rely on partner finding a redouble here to allow you to bid your two clubs. Just bid two clubs. If, if West is 10 to 12, which is what she's saying, you can't possibly afford to allow one no trump double to stand, Ellie. You must bid two clubs immediately. You've only got a four count. Um, you can't afford to just stay silent like a sort of frozen rabbit uh, and wait for the axe to fall. Just get out into something that's going to allow the east hand here to actually play some part and maybe get a few tricks. Okay? Given that East didn't bid two clubs over the double, it's reasonable to assume that they don't have five card clubs. It's reasonable to assume that partner only has four card clubs because if they had five card clubs they would probably have bid two clubs over the double. If you remember what I said about strong tens the lead of the ten especially when it's a suit that Easter's bid the lead of the ten is a strong lead it promises Ace 10 9 or King 10 9, given that West has the Queen. So, right to duck the first one, and actually right to duck the second one. You don't need to go up with the Queen. Um, because you know that, that partner's got one, almost certainly got, sorry, that declare has got one trick that they're going to take, probably the ace. So you don't need to rise with the queen on the second round of the suit. Partner will know what the position is. And it doesn't matter whether... You know, when, when Declara plays the ace on the second round of clubs, partner will know that you've got the queen. Otherwise, if Declara had the queen, they'd play it. Okay. Um, as far as the rest of the play went, clearly better for Esther to attack. Okay. It doesn't matter whether partner's got four or five clubs um, you know that they've probably started off with king ten nine x so you can afford just to duck the second round um, there's no way partner's only got three clubs so declare is going to have to take a club trick at one point you can't force them to do it and you're right to duck the first round um, to cover um, dummies jack that's the whole point in playing strong tens if partner starts off with ace ten nine then declare is going to have to take the king at some point ok as far as the play is concerned it must be right here given that West has opened one no trump it must be right to attack diamonds rather than hearts the hearts you can take any time at all almost for certain the queen of hearts is going to be with West especially given that uh, East West have only got uh, 15 points between them and 10 to 12 of those points are with West. And the lead of 
the ten of clubs suggests that east has got the queen or the king of clubs so they haven't got they can't have much more than that so that you know that the queen of hearts is almost certainly with west the bidding tells you that so attack the diamonds lead a small diamond to the king if by any chance west only started with two clubs now the chances are you're going to be able to make this because you can stop uh, potentially stop declarer from reaching the east hand ever okay Esther Okay, another one. Counting is really critical. I have to say, that's the. If if you guys if you guys throw away all of your books on bidding, and just spend all of your time concentrating on counting every hand, and taking the inferences that are there to be taken your bridge will in improve by a massive percentage you can spend loads of time on the bidding but well you need you need to try Sanya you need to try because that's what will improve your bridge more than anything else is counting each hand That's great, Roger. The trouble is, is that you can show the importance of counting. You can show the importance of counting, but actually learning the discipline of doing it is something that uh, really you have to learn yourself. I'm not taking away whatever you've put in AA Bridge. Um, even if all you do is to convince people that actually they didn't okay well that's great part of it to be fair is is having you you certainly do Roger and, and it's having the available spare degree of concentration you know you need to sort of almost compartmentalize your mind and have one half of you counting the hands while you're thinking about all the other things that are going on it's not easy but counting the hand is is seriously is is what differentiates average bridge players from advanced or expert players so we're in one no trump by south
and that's the end of the defence. Okay, Barry, just claim the rest. Okay, just think back to the first trick, please. West led the ten of clubs. To Clara played small from dummy. And East rose with the ace. Why was that? If De Clara started with Jack 9 3, then unfortunately, and, and partners just got 10x, then uh, there's not much, they've not much the defence can do here. But if partners started with for example, 10-9, you've just given up a trick by rising with the ace. Better to duck the first trick and hope that partner's either forgotten that we lead 9 from 10-9x if you're playing strong 10s, or that they've got the 10-9, and now you've limited declarers club tricks to two rather than three. The lead of the nine of uh, diamonds was good and followed with the ten is good, but in practice you were never going to fool declare I don't think here, because the double clearly shows that you've got both minors and most of the points that are outstanding. So the chances are that he's always going to play you for the ace-queen. But it was worth a shot. I think I would have been tempted to duck the first heart and take the second heart because there are only uh, two hearts in dummy and you spoil the communication between the north-south hands if you hold up the hearts once. Because, in fact, because De Clare has got the ace-king, it doesn't actually make any difference. The ace-king of spades. They can always get back to hand to, uh, to carry on with the hearts. But uh, I would have been tempted to hold up the hearts once. But I certainly wouldn't have taken the first club with the ace. Um, just let it run round to south jack. Aces are meant to be played on kings, not on thin air. Anybody else got any questions or comments? Okay, one more quickie. Um... Try this one.
Okay, very well done. Good example there of a suit preference signal from south with the ten of diamonds to suggest that assuming that partner is going to rough the diamond, the two can't really have been from since the ace, king, queen, jack, ten is on view to south, the two can't be from a doubleton or any three card holding uh, unless you're paying lowest from three small so the chances are that the two is a singleton and uh, so the ten of diamonds back is clearly asking for a heart and if south had the ace of clubs they would lead back the three of diamonds to ask for a club return and hopefully uh, North would be on the ball and give the right one, give the right return to get the second rough. So well done. Um, and clearly, if uh, I don't know, suppose South was actually short in spades. If uh, if South had a second entry. They could still potentially signal with between the six and the three and hope that that partner would, you know, if South perchance had the ace of clubs as well, not very likely. Um, they could signal with the three on the second rough just in case partner still had another trump that they could promote. Okay, guys, uh, I think we're going to leave it. Uh, I believe John is back to normal tomorrow. I may be wrong. Anybody know? I'm not sure if John's back tomorrow or not, but I would assume that the practice is on. I'll try and be there, but I can't guarantee it. Yeah, most welcome. Uh, like I said, so see you guys. See you next week. Oh no, not next week. Maybe see you tomorrow. And uh, like I said, I'll be taking a break for um, yeah, sometime soon once I've worked it out. But it does depend on how long the complex system ones takes. Um, I will announce it a bit later on in the summer probably uh, when I know exactly when the complex system seminars are going to end because I, I won't run both of them at the same time. So uh, just keep your eyes peeled on in IAC and on the OCP website and 